DJ. We used to be the, in the same committee last parliament of ICT and uh, with Wamushomba. And I also contributed, I can say, I, I, I'm proud of this bill because I know I'm a part of a contributor. We are the pioneers of this bill, Mr. Speaker. And I want to support the committee for the good job they are doing. And uh, I think, uh, Mr. Speaker, technology is a way to go. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that um, in the uh, last parliament, we also amended a cybercrime uh, a bill, which, Mr. Speaker, helped Kenyans a lot, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, is it through uh, technology, Mr. Speaker, whereby our youth are benefiting nowadays? Because, Mr. Speaker, uh, there are no uh, jobs in the country, and I can say that even through the technology, our young people, after the college, after the university, they make their own uh, businesses. They make their own business through even TikTok. They make some uh, contents and sell it in, uh, in, uh, in the platforms to create, uh, to uh, improve their living standards, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm saying through technology. I, 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 when I was sitting here, I was just remembering those years when you used to, uh, to use the telecom, the, the, the other, the big uh, phones whereby you used to call someone, you need to go to the nearest market, 10 kilometers away, to make a call to someone in Nairobi or into the uh, city. But currently, through technology, Mr. Speaker, we have mobile phones whereby you, when you, you are working, you can uh, make calls and uh, uh, even make business through the phone, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the reason why this bill is very important, Mr. Speaker, when we go to technology, Mr. Speaker, just see that uh, the technology in agriculture, Mr. Speaker, through the new technology machines, we are making improving, we are improving in our agriculture in our country, and the Mr. Speaker is through this, whereby uh, parents even in the villages they can uh, use the new technology, Mr. Speaker, and be afford to uh, the improve their living standards, and they, they are even in a position to pay school fees for their children through the technology, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I remember uh, I went to several countries, Mr. Speaker, in the last parliament, Mr. Speaker, when we were working on the issue of uh, uh, Kansas City, Mr. Speaker. And in Misazika, this city, and that's why I'm encouraging this government to take this city serious, Mr. Speaker, because Techno City is the way to go. Mr. Speaker, in future, that Techno City, when we, uh, it, is a, it becomes a project, it will be completed, Mr. Speaker. I think many Kenyans will benefit from it. Jobs will be created. And Mr. Speaker, even our young people will benefit through e-learning and other technologies, Mr. Speaker, in that city. So that's why we are saying, Mr. Speaker, we are proud of Techno City, Kansas City, and uh, we are requesting the government to uh, put more resources in that city so that uh, some our people can, be, can benefit, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I remember, Mr. Speaker, when the president was talking of... T uh, of uh, ICTs in uh, constituencies, Mr. Speaker. I think this is a great idea, Mr. Speaker. And I want to say that, Mr. Speaker, if we can make sure, even through the CDF, Mr. Speaker, and that's why, Mr. Speaker, when I hear people yelling, saying that at the CDF is not constitutional, we should do away with the CDF, Mr. Speaker, I know that uh, Kenyans down there, they are crying when they hear such uh, sentiments, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, through CDF, we are capable to do ICT centers in our wards. And Mr. Speaker, I think we also need to support that. Because, Mr. Speaker, if we have uh, ICT centers in our villages, it will help those youths after Form 4. They go to learn computer. They not learn other technologies, Mr. Speaker. Because currently, Mr. Speaker, technology is the way to go. I remember, Mr. Speaker, I was led by my son, who is in grade 6, Mr. Speaker, grade 4. I was traveling, I, I was traveling to uh, a city somewhere in uh, Oman. And Mr. Speaker, the, my son asked me about how is Oman, uh, how is the climate of the place. And Mr. Speaker, by that time I had no idea. Then he went through the phone and Google and learned about, and he told me, Dad, you have to go with these clothes, you have to do this because this place is like this and this and this. Mr. Speaker was challenged by uh, my son. Then I said, surely. We need to improve technology in our country. And we need to embrace it because, uh, Mr. Speaker, it is helping our people and it is also making the coming generation to depend on their own, Mr. Speaker. Through Google, Mr. Speaker, 
uh, technology has made the world to be a small village, Mr. Speaker. We, you wake up in the morning, and before even 30 minutes, you know what is happening globally, Mr. Speaker, through the technology, Mr. Speaker. That's why I'm saying, Mr. Speaker, without technology, I don't know uh, where as a country we can be heading. And that's why I'm saying, when we are supporting technology, Mr. Speaker, we are making our country, uh, taking our country to another level, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, through the technology, Mr. Speaker, we can improve our economy. And Mr. Speaker, if you remember where the Kenya was some years back, Mr. Speaker, but through a technology, Mr. Speaker, we have MPESA currently, Mr. Speaker, whereby you can do transaction through your phone, you can uh, move with your office, because when you have your, if you have your phone, you can do all the transactions you want. You can do pay bills, you can also do business with your phones, because, Mr. Speaker, the technology is there for moving your money from your bank. Nowadays, Mr. Speaker, if you go to our banks, you get their, their empty. Because people are using the technology, Mr. Speaker. So I think, Mr. Speaker, this bill came at the right time. And this is a bill whereby we need, as members of parliament, to give it a, to support it and give it a weight. Because uh, I'm telling you, the bill is long overdue, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we also need to attract uh, some investors to invest in our country through technology, Mr. Speaker. And this one is, uh, will make attract the foreigners, Mr. Speaker, if our laws are good, if we make our laws uh, straight, whereby when an investor is coming to invest in our country, he feels comfortable because he's protected by the law, Mr. Speaker. And I think the committee, that was the thought of the co thinking of the committee, Mr. Speaker, because they want to make the law to be straight, to make the uh, law to be favorable to our investors, Mr. Speaker. So I think by supporting this law, by making this bill to be a law, Mr. Speaker, will also improve the economy of this country, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I think with only a, a few amendments, Mr. Speaker, this bill can be uh, one of the best uh, laws, Mr. Speaker, to help our economy in this country. And Mr. Speaker, I think this is the way to go, and I want to thank KJ, the chair of the committee, and to tell the committee to continue with the good job they are doing, because now we can see light in this ministry through this bill, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I support. Member for Wajia North. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. From the outset.